hello there i'm in Okungu with another session on uh, data mining based on the uh, data tool uh, database so today i'm giving you another session on how we can pull the populations from the dhs2 tracker so as usual you have to log in into your dhs2 account so we are logging in so this is the website for the dhs2 account and this is my username and this is my password which is of course secret confidential that's why it's hidden and we log in so we go to the apps the applications and still we are still going to use the data visualizer so that takes us to the pivot table so the pivot table we do we set the parameters of the type of data that we want to pull so we said we want to pull the populations so we start by setting the type of data that we want so we'll click on data and then all data types comes so i'm interested in the data elements because the populations have to be pulled as in terms of the raw data the absolute numbers so this uh after doing that you can search here so our populations are saved beginning with uh, the word revised then the population follows so you can just search here and you type revised and there you go you see all the populations coming down here so we have revised expected delivery revised populations under one revised population under two so this is how these populations are saved in the dhs2 so let's start by picking the total population so i'm going to click on the populations next what do i want to get maybe i start with the under ones so I'm going to get the under one populations. So normally under one populations are used even in the circumstances for the under two years. So we will leave out this one and then go to uh, probably the live expected live beds. Okay, we'll get the under under five population and then we'll go to the expected live beds. And then we're going to pick the expected uh, pregnancies and uh, then in this case I also get the expected deliveries and lastly I'm uh, picking on a population of women on childbearing by double clicking on this indicator so my selection comes to the selection list of items this side so these are selected items after doing that you update so there we have our populations so remember we haven't set the parameters for the period so you need to come to the period you set which period do you want so in this case i'm going to go, go to the fixed periods and the year is okay because i want the population for this year and i'm going to pick yearly populations so i'm going to pick the year Okay, and the year is the 2024 so I'll pick the 2024 populations and I will update so this is a population so revised population total populations for 2024 for Peter okay 276 788 represented by this green bar there so you have your populations so for populations you will notice that even if i am to change the periods into months so we can keep this in mind 276 788 so let's just experiment so the populations normally seems to be still the same even if i am to change the period so i'm going to pick the population for january 2024 okay so update you see so it's still showing 276 788 
so meaning that if I've picked these populations let's say uh, by year by the period type of annual which is yearly uh, after pulling this data you still need to you still need to uh, process it further that is in case if you want the populations by quarter so meaning that this annual population you are going to divide it by four because there are four quarters in a year if you want to get the monthly populations from these you are going to divide by 12 months just like that so this applies to even these other targets here so we continue let's set the parameters of the org unit which organizational level do we want so for me i need these populations by facility as well as district so this is what we've been doing we come here i'm going to tick on the district and then facility and uh, update so we have set the parameter so these populations are by the district facility levels and uh, it better okay so i'd love to see them um, probably more uh, clearly or I, I, I love to put them in a table i'll put them in the table by picking on pivot table and then update so that i can play around this uh, fields more flexible way so i bring the, the um, i'm going to bring the org unit here and i'm going to take the period i know it's just one year should be able to clearly tabulate like that so there i have my populations so i have the total populations the first column and then these other targets that we normally use in a calculation of performance so up to here you can see i have populations by facilities i also have the populations by the district so they must be petauke somewhere um because i picked a uh, petauke so petauke is here so i have 276 788 and followed by this population of under one for the whole year so i'm going to share this video on the group but you may be aware that uh, the WhatsApp group doesn't store uh, um, for a long time. These are things that we normally share on the group. You might lose them. So for those of you that might want to refer back to previous videos that have been sharing, you just have to follow my channel on YouTube. It is a Zemwana Research and Consultants. You'll be able to find these videos and subscribe. Um, so that you'll be able to get some more or video or previous videos that I shared much earlier. Thank you. Enjoy the day.